All right, I want to throw together a little video here, um, adding the windshield to my X3. I just got this as a 2022. It's the 72 inch uh, Turbo RR RS model. So my first trip out, I realized right away I needed a windshield. So um, these are $300 windshields. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I think this one was $290 plus tax. Shipping was free. I did notice the price on these has gone up, so you're going to find them anywhere between uh, $300 and $400. And it's a decent windshield. It's glass. Um, it's got a nice rubber seal, uh, aluminum frame with flanged um, support along the top, so it doesn't sag or anything. Um, it's got this uh, bottom piece across the bottom. This comes out. It's got three five millimeter screws, and there's uh, tapped holes in the windshield for those. Um, and then you got bolts, five bolts, six bolts across the top. Um, so I'm using M5 in the middle and then the outside I'm using M8 because those go to the brackets. And then down here I'm using m 8 to the brackets. Uh, what brackets? Oh yeah, this piece here comes with it as well, the closeout piece. Um, I did shingle it like that so that any water or snow or anything that would be on it would run off. Um, and not into the vehicle dripping off of that. So that's why I shingled it that way. However, the big drawback is these do not come with brackets or any kind of hardware. They don't come with screws, bolts. They don't come with instructions. They don't come with anything. Um, so I've seen multiple different applications. Um, some people use straps around the roll bar cage, which uh, I'm sure is good. The complaint on those I've heard is that uh, they sag and the windshield drops. So what I did is designed up these brackets. This one just snaps over the roll cage and then an M8 bolt goes through there right into the frame. And then this one goes into the mirror holes. So there's no modification to the vehicle at all. Um, there is one hole that has to be drilled into the windshield frame itself. Um, but that's, I don't consider that an issue at all. Um, so these are fairly uh, strong, pretty rigid pieces. I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. And I just had them 3D, or I 3D printed them. Um, took me a couple swings at it to get them right so that these would snap on good and that these would land where they needed to be. So let's see how they look on the inside of the vehicle. So here's the bottom one right here. I probably could use a little shorter bolt there, but that just snaps on. So why did I go this route? So as this vehicle goes in torques and twist, this holds the windshield in place, but allows it to flex so that you're not putting any torsion on the glass itself. So that was my concern there. So what keeps it from going up and down is then this internal bracket. The one that I showed you. Um, so that mounts right to the mirror frame. If you don't have a mirror, you could bolt from the outside in. And then an M8 bolt up there. And that sits right nicely right up against um, the flange on the glass. So it's a really neat application. Um, the fitment was perfect. The only thing you have to do is once you get the two mirror bolts in and you get the bottom where you want it on the lower bracket is drill the hole for that bolt. Um, I drilled it from this side and used the plastic piece as a guide for the drill bit and just drilled up through and on both sides without moving anything. Um, and there you go. I do recommend putting these top bolts in first so that that's all aligned that way as well. So that's how I installed this shield and I'm really happy with it. It's clean, it looks professional, it's neat. Um, it's gonna be very practical because it's gonna allow the windshield to flex um, without any kind of torque on the glass itself. Um, the other thing is I did put a quarter inch foam pad between the bar. Um, and the windshield frame itself. So it's sitting on uh, rubber right now. 
um, which also will help seal it out. Not that that's a huge concern because you have plenty of open gaps, but uh, nonetheless, I'm, I'm really happy with this installation. And I did make up a few extra pairs of these brackets. So if anybody's interested, um, get a hold of me and I'd be willing to sell them. Um, I'm just going to keep print, printing them. And got a few friends with this vehicle. And so um, if they go with this windshield, uh, then that'll be the perfect application. Um, so that's it. Yeah. I'm really happy with this and uh, you're going to need those brackets and I think um, this method here gives it the ability to uh, keep the glass floating but yet mounted securely. All right, man. Have a great day.